voilà. Pepe rempe. Heba. Pepe rempe. Sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar. Hi guys, what's up? It's the end of 2020. It's the 31st of December and I'm at my mom's, at my parents' house. And I said, you know what? Banker is here. Let me bully her into doing a <laughs> super spicy noodles challenge. challenge. Guys, it's hot. Typical Lagos, there's no lights. So listen, people next door are building something. It's a noisy environment, but we're gonna try and speak up. So we're gonna be eating this super spicy noodles stuffs. And we're gonna be talking about secondary school experience because a lot has been going on. So we went to FOS Comprehensive School Ibadan. It's a boarding house and um Are we ready to start? Yes now, nah, we did go in. Guys, they said this is super spicy, the international one. Mm, I just say you know we're spicy nothing. It shocked me. <clears throat> oh. Yay! Where did you buy this thing from? Where did you say this? It shocked me. <laughs> it's quite hot. Okay, mine is red. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think when your head do not start scratching you when something is very hot. Guys, it's hot. So I went to the first comprehensive school. I was bank senior, and we put board egg inside because. How did you have to start with? Not the best senior. Am I your mate? I have to start with that. that I was bank senior in Air Force. That was important. And when I went to Air Force, Air Force was it's one of my best experiences ever because it shaped me. It gave me the right amount of independence that I needed. It's what's been able to help me survive in the chaotic world that we live in. From when I got out to going to A-level in Oxbridge, to going to university in England, to moving back to Nigeria, to just being able to adapt. That school was hard, it was tough, but it was good. It was worth it. Before I give you some jokes and some kick kicks, let me ask Vaket. What did Air Force do for you? Also to so, give you small context as well, in the secondary school we went to, we weren't allowed provisions. No money. No money. There was no talk shop. We didn't have a talk shop. Um, if you didn't eat the school food, you start. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it, we had provisions, but provisions was provided by the school and it was like four cabin biscuits and tea. And I can never eat cabin biscuits again. We used, to, we used to have three lectures before breakfast. So we get to classes like around seven. We'll queue up, we'll have Cabin biscuit and tea. Then we'll attend three lectures. After that, we'll go for breakfast. <laughs> Please don't let me choke. <laughs> no, this is spicy. It's very spicy. Mm. Ah, it shocked me. So, my first year was a bit of a shock. But not shock in terms of, you know, I, I, I was saying it with all the madness that's going on in terms of secondary school and in the news. I was talking about how my first year, I remember a senior coming to wake me up in the middle of the night to go and get her water because she wanted to soak Gary with her friends. And it was late. It was dark. I didn't want to go and start pumping boho in the quadrangle. So I went into the boho in the quadrangle. I went into the laundry room. And some people always have buckets. Plastic ones that have cover and water inside. So I took a big, you know those stainless steel cups now that we used to have? The ones that have cover. I took a big cup from the person's bucket, I don't know whose bucket, and I went to give it to the senior to drink. And when I started sleeping back, that's how in the middle of my sleep pool, I just felt some bimbo creek. <laughs> that's why right today, if I walk on the street and anybody calls me bimbo creek, I know the person went to Air Force, period. Or they call me Craig, or they call me Craigie. Now Air Force you go. So I was like, ah, senior, mm, what is it? I said, I should come. I should come, I should come, I should come and taste the Gary that they're eating. So I tasted it and I realized that the person had put the tall in their water. Meanwhile, the Gary don't travel. <laughs> that means that the Gary had soaked so well, it had swollen. So if it was this size, it don't multiply. 
And it's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. No. She made me drink the entire bowl of Gary. No. I'm not joking. Did you I swear now. Do you remember seeing you? Don't worry. No, I'm just asking if you're not oh, yes, I, you, you I drank it. No, I won't mention this person's name because I'm decided to let this one go. I drank it and then she told me to go back to bed. Barely five minutes as soon as I lay down on my bed, I just turned to the side and I threw up. And I had to go and start cleaning everywhere up again. Middle of the night, guys. I would never forget. I cried myself to sleep. And it was after that experience, I just kept on thinking to myself, whatever happens, I must make it. <laughs> I want to make it. I mean, I must be a senior. Oh, okay. I must be a popular senior. As a junior, I'm not going to suffer. Then I was thinking it was the end of it, and then comes Shewanuga. I don't care this one. I'm going to call her name. Wow. Yeah, you there. Shewanuga. If I see you outside, he's on site. Well, I'm going to take you out. Yes, her past. No. You're a good Christian. No. Ooh. She's a terrible person. But she might have changed. I don't give a flying Ooh. fuck. You were a bed wetter. And you make genius constantly wash your bed sheets. I've never felt more humiliated than that time in my life, and I will never forget it. You see, the rest of the people I don't call their names, but you, you tormented me. For every time you called me to wash your bed sheets, that stank of your urine, you're a terrible person. I don't care whether it's been 20 years, I don't care whether it's been 25 years. I want people to tell you that you're a terrible person because you were well over 13 and you knew that what you were doing was wrong you knew what class were you here? I was a junior, I was in like GS1 about to enter GS2 she was, she was in like SS2 oh, okay. you she knew what you were doing was, yes you knew what you were doing was terrible for you to have chosen not to wash it yourself you were vile I heard you're in America somewhere I don't know what you're doing but I'm telling you if I see you it's on site of disclosure, there was one of your friends, I will not mention her name. Mention her name! No, no need. There was one of our friends, like, I remember when, I can't remember, like, I had this pot with that, am um, I you know doing, um, doing into house pots? I think, I, yeah, I was in probably like just one or just two, I think. But you back in the same house. My dad, I think it was my dad that bought me that top. And everything it was a yellow top, and I think it had like super girl on it. It was yellow, mm -hmm. so I will leave you to figure because it was yellow, and that's about it. So that and then, that it was the house. <laughs> and, then <laughs> and then, like during um, so during like inter house sports, you know, would have to go out for like sporting um different things. So even if you're not participating in a sport, like you still go and support and wear like mm -hmm. the color of your house, like and support. I mean, obviously, if you're like a senior and this senior. Well, she's a senior, and I think she was playing like basketball, handball. Like, long and short of the story, let's just let me just assume, or let's just say that my top became her top. What? Imagine, no, you <laughs> want to take something from me. She told somebody to call me, so I left my own house. Obviously, she was in my house. Left my own house. But I wanted to talk to me that she was in our house. <laughs> Green was her place, and then I was doing her Red was Jaguar, and blue was, and blue. yellow was Alpha. Sent a junior to call me, left my dorm, went all the way to her dorm. It's like, oh, you have a top. Because obviously I must have worn it one day and you see me. And well, for you for you to be a senior and to want to wear a junior's top, you figure that okay, this junior is not, not dead say right. So you can this wear that. Because of my friend. Anyway, so <laughs> what? And I can think of Okay, let's leave the matter. Anyway, so someone's me, she's like, oh. Um, you have a yellow top that has um this girl so it's, Oh, please, can you have it? Make sure it's washed and can you send it to me? I need it to wear it for my game because I'm playing game and you know then now you can't. Yes, senior. That's it. And that was it too. Like the literally, that it. was it. Like you couldn't. I think one time I summoned the courage to go and ask her and be like, "Oh, senior X Y Z, please, can I have my top?" She's like, "No, I'm serious, in it." Sorry. I like some seniors were very mild. And then yeah, but I think for the most part though, I think I didn't I didn't have it like and then it just in just in case some Air Force people watch this, like I didn't I had didn't have it bad. Neither did I. And I tried to make sure I was a good senior. I tried. I've I've always been very disciplined and I think you know the person who wears us. So I think that's why. But I don't think I was a terrible senior. I think I was a very stern and I, I remember punishing a few people, but not punishments that yeah will make you feel less of a human being and yeah, talk to yeah. people to crawl a lot of people i used to give their punishment to come and wash dishes on saturday afternoon Ever. that's the worst time Ever pots. Ever. Ever plates. because you have been under the old sun 
<coughs> inside stainless steel, the guy would have yeah. dried. You have to soak all of them. Mm -hmm. So those are kind of what I used to give because I became Daniel perfect. But apart from that, it's my chalk. But good. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think my <laughs> own journey was a bit. I mean, obviously, I think I don't know. Some some sometimes <laughs> some seniors just like you, and that's how it is. And and I had a lot of school mothers, a lot across all the years. And I think same as well. Like I was friends with a lot of seniors. Mm -hmm. So like shout out to Maresta, my first school mother. Amazing. Like we were still cool to was tomorrow. She was ah she was awesome and it's obviously when you're someone's school mother you, you naturally do her things obviously sometimes they're punishing everybody should save you from like your, your life is just a little if it's not little their life is but do you know i realized something that nice i just life. realized now secondary school actually did shape my future as well in relation to the kind of friends that i have so i kept on noticing that from when i got to secondary school all my friends have always been older than me yeah and i couldn't understand why but i realized why now in secondary school like i said after jess won i realized i didn't want to suffer so I became very chummy with a lot of seniors and it followed through because even after I've left secondary school I barely speak to people for my set I just don't know why I'm not a snob let me tell you what it is <laughs> I don't know why because we came out of school there was a group it was set I was in it next thing they took me out next thing I'm hearing they're talking about me in the they group. took you out or you left no they took me out I didn't no I didn't leave now there was no whatsapp now okay exactly <laughs> the reason I'm saying that is because whatsapp groups I Z, don't have time. But there was no WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. So they just took me out of it. I didn't know why. The next thing I hear that they're talking about me, and I don't understand why. But they, they, it wasn't like they were saying anything vile or bad. I just couldn't understand why I wasn't in the group. And after a while, I was just like, but to be fair, when I left, I made more international, intentional connections with my seniors. So like Baby, Jade, Lani, like how many people that I still talk to today? If I go to America, the first mm -hmm. five people I call are Air Force people, and they were my seniors and even just moving on now yeah. it's now i start making friends that are my mates but i've always had friends that have always been older than me one time i came back from sports or something like that and then i had tosi made me a jersey then a manchester united jersey that had bank at the back maybe i had like perfume i had this i had that Do you know i came back from afternoon pregnancy yeah, I, I went into my wardrobe everything <laughs> gone <laughs> that popped it a jersey with my name on at the back are you doing bank Yes, I was. Oh, she died. <laughs> I was. They don't still laugh. Like, we, like, Kike was so annoyed. Did Kike, you remember Kike? Kike? Oh, yeah, she yeah, yeah. was so did annoyed. You know, like, she. Did you pallock your locker? Yes. And they they, they jacked jack 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 Will I send my children yes. there now? I don't know. <sighs> That's a big question, man. Would you? Question. It's a good way to. What do you think? Do you I think definitely you would want to send him? my kids to boarding house. Well, maybe not Air Force. Maybe not Air Force. Air Force was tough. It was, but it's not. It's not the same anymore. Yeah. So, for example, just one to just three. That's what, what I heard. But some girls says when you grow it up, it's not the same anymore. They don't yeah. cut their hair anymore. The girls wear trousers. The girls wear trousers now. now. They don't wear skirts. They allow provisions. They allow now. provisions. They allow money. So during that time, they didn't even let us I was, cook food. Even look, on I was telling Mom the other day. I was like. You guys were so horrible because me mom was on PTA, my dad was on PTA as well. Like said, our parents were on PTA. <laughs> I was like, you people were horrible. Like, why would you make such decisions and such rules? That that's horrible. Let me tell you why. Because they realized that when they used to bring cooked food for kids on visiting day, people who carry the coolers and keep it overnight. They would not eat it the next day, and it would have spoiled. So Sigma was always full yeah. of people with. Food poisoning. Like, this thing was so that once was one term. One word for your secondary school experience, man. Okay. Mine will be grounding, humbling. <laughs> grounding, humbling. I can't even lie to you. We didn't appreciate it then, and we didn't understand it. But coming out of it now, I realized that you know the importance of us all not being allowed provisions and not being allowed money and stuff made all of us feel like we're equal yeah it was when we left off us yeah. that we realized yeah. that yeah. Oh, this, this person didn't this even have it this person is an in oh my god these people are barracks yeah. all yeah. these people are because Absolutely. everybody just integrated and just Absolutely. merged together yeah. the only time when you even have an inkling as to even had money was maybe summer holidays when most of us would travel and we'll come back with like mm -hmm. mono strap nike this but apart from that you had no clue. Mm -hmm. It was the same uniform, it was the same khaki, mm -hmm. it was the same socks, it was mat sets, it was the same table, it was the same food, mm -hmm. it was the same provision. 
and so it was very 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 grounding and humbling so, all right guys thank you guys so much and hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up please make sure you share please make sure you like Bye. please make sure you subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the new year in the new year because this video not going to go up before the new year that's some period that's some periana all right guys thanks so much peace out so much love kisses bye stop it is this one time